Hey guys, this is VMA1, and I'm talking about the Nintendo Direct. The Nintendo Direct, it wasn't like one of those, oh my gosh, Directs, but it was good. And they started off with a bang, Overwatch. Overwatch is a game I feel like people have been predicting to come to Switch for so long, and finally they're like, yes, it is coming to Switch. And yes, I was wrong on some of my predictions. I was wrong on Assassin's Creed, that it, some Assassin's Creeds are coming to Switch. And they also did talk about the SNK character for Super Smash, which is Terry, which once again, I was wrong about my prediction, but I was right, no Call of Duty Modern Warfare. But many of the predictions that I feel that people were making were right. Like SNES games, yes, they are coming to Nintendo Switch Online service. And they also had some shadow drops, such as Kirby's new game, which is like Kirby Bash or something like that. It looks like basically a Kirby version of Monster Hunter, in my opinion. And it is free to start, but not free to play, apparently. Also, another shadow drop was Banjo-Kazooie, which is coming out today as well. And you can play him on Smash. And they announced that there's going to be another fighter pack for Smash, apparently. And some pretty good announcement. They showed some new games, some games that look pretty good. And they brought back that whole town game. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that town game. And it looks pretty decent, in my opinion. So, it is cool to see the games and everything. I wasn't too, too surprised by a lot of stuff. I wasn't too, too shocked either. But it was a good direct and all. And some of my favorite announcements were... For Damon X Moshma, there's a new four-player co-op demo coming out that looks pretty good. And Kirby does look interesting in all honesty. I probably won't buy the game, but I may download it and start it. So another thing that really interested me was cross-save between Steam and Nintendo. It was announced for Divinity Original Sin 2, and that's cool. That is really cool that you can play a game on one console, and not only play it on the next console, but you can actually bring over the stuff that you did on that console to the other console. I think this would make people buy multiple games on multiple consoles, because... Let's face it, sometimes that happened to me before. I think it was GTA 5 when my buddy had it on PC and he actually bought it for me for Christmas on PC, but I already had played it on the Xbox 360 and I didn't want to have to start over and stuff. So it is so cool that some of these games are getting cross saves because cross saves, I think, would encourage people to have games on multiple consoles. So that's a really cool feature that I hope will come to more games. That, to me, was one of the best parts of the Direct. Just announcing that the games can cross-save, and this one's between Switch and Steam. But I do want to talk a little bit about Pokemon Sword and Shield, because they did talk about that during this Direct. And it wasn't much. They really didn't talk about stuff that was interested in the game. They talked about how Pokemon Camp, they talked about cooking curry, and they talked about like how you're going to be able to design your character, and also about some new Pokemon. They didn't really talk about battle styles or like new areas like that. Or online functions. They basically just talked about cosmetic things about the game. That may interest them. Not really interested me. Probably still going to get the game. But that didn't make me want it anymore. Really. Other than that, there are a few other announcements. Some lesser known games. Not too many AAA game announcements like that, I think, on this Direct. But what do you think about the Direct? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.